know, but they seem rather rational, like not what you would normally find on, say, Twitter. Mm -hmm. So it comes from Josue Romero. He goes, I'm on the fence with Potch at the moment, but you're backing him, Olivia, which I admire. How would you convince someone like myself, who is on the fence about him, to back him up? I just want to know your point of view. Basically, make a case for Potch. Oh, okay, right. I think... What one thing, one thing I, we need to remember is that Chelsea aren't the, the, the club of old. This whole, yes, it worked for us over the years, but this whole sacking managers, you know, rehiring, winning stuff, sacking managers, it, it, we haven't won it. We haven't won. I know, obviously, we won the Champions League two years ago, and I think that's an anomaly, but we haven't won the league for five years. Tuchel really did us a disservice by winning I, that Champions League, right? I cannot believe. I, I was sat there the, the other day being like, we won the Champions League two years ago. A year and a half ago, we were champions of the world. Like, how have we... The, the fall from grace in just terms of, like, on the pitch has just been apps. I can't even, like, comprehend it. But anyway, um, I I just think with Poch, when he came in pre-season, um, everyone was so excited. He was playing a certain way. He was playing players in certain positions. And although that's changed... I per I personally just think I've seen enough in the games to to know that the wins are going to come. I would be more worried if the performances were really bad. We we're being outplayed every week, but actually that hasn't been the case. And pretty much, I didn't watch the Forest game because I was working, and I think that's probably the one game people will say that Chelsea were really poor in. But actually, all of the other games that I've watched, which is all of them, I've come away going. I think we were the better team. I think we had the better chances. How have we lost that game? And Potch has got a very good record with a young, with young players, with a young squad, with getting a maximum and probably exceeding expectations. You cannot expect a manager to come in and within six games. I look at Anne, what Andrew's doing at Spurs, and, and I just think he had one or two new players. You know, these are, this is like a whole squad of players with no, barely any leadership, barely any experience. And I just think it's hard trying to fit all like to, to get all the puzzle pieces and put them together. But I, if, if, you know, yesterday we saw Levi Cole play at centre back and I just thought he was an absolute animal. We saw a left back play at left back. And I like to think because we won yesterday that we're going to see more of that. And I think those were the question marks people had over Poch was why are you playing players in this position? Why are you playing players in that position? So I think now that we've won and as long as this carries on, I don't see why you wouldn't want to give a manager time. If you want stability, if you want him to create something, it's not going to happen in six games. And in my head, everyone's like, oh, well, a, a Jose Mourinho quote, quote keeps coming up on my timeline. Like, oh, if you're, st if you're standards and you just accept playing well, I'm accepting playing well because it's five games into a new season or six games with a new manager and a new squad. So they are my reasons personally. I'm... I'm not going to say what I think about people that are potch out after yeah, six yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've said it on Twitter, I think. So if you want to go on my tweets, you can have a look. But I, I've just got, basically, I've just got no time for people that, if, if you want us to build something special like City and Liverpool have, you have to give a manager time. It's literally as simple as that. And I believe Potch is the right man and I'll stick by that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not agreeing to agree. I think people know I agree. I think you have to be able to see the forest through the trees in two ways. So like, like you said, you have to be able to see what we're building and how it could look, should look, probably will look later in the season, right? So you have to With see everyone the back as well. Like I, I, I'm not using this as an excuse at all, but it, it makes me laugh that now suddenly Arsenal and City have got five and six players out injured. Everyone's talking about it. Right. No one cared when we had 12 players out injured and a lot of our first team players, no one cared. But now City have lost five players and Arsenal have lost four players. Everyone's like, oh my God, injuries. Yeah, that's something we've had to deal with. I'm not using that as an excuse, but I'd like to see Potch with his full squad, with all of his best players, because at the moment we're missing Reese James, who's our best player. We're missing Christopher Nkunku, who was our most exciting player in pre-season and perhaps the player that was there to create those magical moments. So I just think, Give him a bit of time. Let him have a full fit, like a fully fit squad, and then see what he can do with it. Yeah, and on in Cuckoo, I've said it a lot, but I feel like because we have a goal scoring issue, he was extra extra important early on. Yeah. Two years from now, Liv, I don't think we're going to be dependent on one player in particular. Like I think we're trying to build something actually where if we do suffer injuries or a player leaves us, we won't just fall apart. We're clearly mm -hmm. trying to build a wide foundation. But that's two years from now. Early on, Nkuku was massive. And he was massive for Nicholas Jackson, too, right? Like, I think yeah. Nicholas Jackson would have had a much smoother start to the Premier League season mm -hmm. had Nkuku been in there. But, yeah, I mean, 
seeing the forest through the trees once again in two different ways, like seeing the signs, like you said. And I think you're right. I mean, bar the forest game, I think we have been the better team in every game. There was that, you know, an XG, take it for a grain of salt, right? Like you, you can't overrate XG, but only us and City are the only two teams who haven't been beaten in XG every game this season. All right. Like that's not bad, right? The signs are there. But then also being able to see the forest through the trees in the other way for the people live who say that, all right, they want to move on from Potts. They want Diego Simeone. They want this guy, that guy. Come on, just think a little bit more critically. Who's to say that they come in and the next five games aren't exactly the same from what you just got from Pochettino and the team? This is what annoys me is that some people think that swapping a manager is automatically going to make these players take their chances. No, it's not. It's really not. And you're so, that's such a silly way to think about it. This isn't to do with the manager. This is to do with them in their own heads, mentally, confidence. It's a thing. And like, I just don't understand how you could think changing a manager is going gonna, is gonna to change anything when the only thing we're doing wrong is not putting the ball in the back of the net. It makes no sense to me. Also, I do start to wonder, like, if, if we did it, and we're not going to do it, right? But if, if we just, once again, sacked the manager, amidst the beginning of a project, I do think players stop coming. Mm. Honestly, like I, I know we're doing a really good job of recruiting players, even while not being the normal Chelsea. Yeah. But I think eventually players are going to say, yeah. I can get money elsewhere. Like, you know, I, I can go elsewhere. There are other big clubs that want me. Yeah. I, I just can't go to a club that could sack the manager in two months. You know, like just that shine is the shine of that being effective is wearing off, you know? And, yeah. and I joked about Tuchel doing us a disservice by winning the champions league. I would never view that as a disservice, but it did kind of lead us to believe that we can continue to do that. And we can, mm. especially if you want to build something. So uh, one more question on like Potch and what he's doing. 